Howdy, 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 everybody. I am Gomer the Ranting Thespian, and welcome back to Blaster Master. The last time we took on the first area, we got the Hyper Cannon. Sweet! And now we're going on through level two. Area two, rather. Yeah, so, so, so imaginative. So imaginative with these names. Uh, lots of roly poly buggy polies. We used to call those little guys that crawled along the round roly polies. <laughs> uh, pill bugs, roly polies. Uh, what did you guys used to call them? I'm, I'm actually kind of curious. You know, I mean, we called them roly polies, and 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 the last time I remember actually messing around with them was like I think in when I was a kid in Indianapolis. So I know at least some people in Indiana do it, or at least they have. Um, curious what other people are. You know, what would those things be called? Pill bugs, roly polies, lava bugs, snugga bugs. Oh wait, that's cockroaches. Um, or at least doc at least according to Dr. Conway. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, hey! Oh! Sometimes you get hit, sometimes you don't. Luck of the draw there. But now, I want to, I want to introduce you guys to a lesson in vertical scrolling. Uh, to kind of play off the uh, Mega Man 3 DOS run that I did recently. You see how I jump up. And goodbye, goodbye. And I don't get to the damn near the top of the screen before it starts scrolling up. Yeah, it's a little further up, so you don't get everything all at once. I guess it's for good for timing issues, but, you know, neither is it exactly, you know, right up at up against the top of the screen either. This is why, like, the original NES Mega Man games, they don't have vertical scrolling like that. You have, like, the ratchet, you know, you have the, uh, oh, what do they call it? Uh, the other type of scrolling. Excuse me, not ratchet scrolling. Although that would that would be a big pain in the ass. Um, but uh, ah, I'll remember it at some point. Ah, ah. <laughs> but you know, it's a type of scrolling that you, you never see it scroll vertically. But once you get to the edge of the screen, it'll scroll up the next screen. Um, ah, damn. There's a there's a term for that. It's on TV tropes. Ah. But at any rate, yeah. And even going down. Going down is, is, is fine too. You don't immediately fall into a pit. You have time to react. Your reaction time. That that's that's kind of where the whole thing goes, is reaction. That's what you need to do. Ah. So here we are. This is getting a little bit more thing here now. Okay. This point right here, when I tried to do my initial playthrough, somehow. I ended up scrolling through here and ending up on the other side. Thankfully, it did not happen this time. Oh, that's right. I lost my gunpowder because I jumped off of a platform and died. Which, by the way, I'm down to my last life. I have five continues. But that's okay. Oh, H for the hover module, which I will eventually get. Let him pass. Okay. Oh, you little... Oh, you little shitter. Although this game does like to ambush you in other ways. It's not exactly trying to ambush you. It's just really unfair luck on a lot of parts there. Um, ow. Although the placement of that gun cannon was a bit unfair. Ah. Ow. God damn. You fucking eyeballs. Get out of my way. Come here. Come here. I'm going to kill you all. <sighs> if it's flashing, you get four units. I don't think I explained that in the last video, although it might have... Well, I don't know if it actually came up, but, but now it has. Five. Oh, this is going to be fun. Now, normally, there are two ways you can take care of the bosses of, sta boss of stages two, four, six, and seven. You can throw a grenade up at their maw and pause the game, and it'll just keep damaging them until they die. I want to do it the more exciting way. And more game slow downy way, too. Will I do this for it? Will I do this for the other bosses like this? Eh, maybe. You know. Because doing it the other way, it's a little too easy. Even though even though it makes it faster. This makes it a little bit more exciting. To watch and just do the thing. Whoa! Also known as I want to show off. <laughs> Uh-huh. Hi. 
you're a big bug, aren't you? What kind of bug are you, anyway? I mean, like a crab, maybe, maybe a scorpion crab, maybe. Uh, the, but you don't have a tail. What the hell are you, though? I always figured it was some kind of crab, but I don't know what. I mean, we have an actual crab later on in the game, but thank goodness for Turbo. Ugh. And with that, we get our second upgrade, the Crusher Cannon. Upgrade to the Hyper Cannon. Whip. Uh-oh. Oh, good. Oh, no. I don't know if you guys ever see it when I accidentally press the Xbox button, but, um, you know, menu comes up and it's like, hey, you want to do this, want to do this? No, shut up. Ah. Uh, the sub weapons. I, I, let me take a second to talk about the sub weapons for the tank real quick. You got the homing missiles, which I don't have any yet. It's pretty much what the name implies. The thunder break, which attacks enemies under you, and the multi warheads, which sends out three missiles ahead of you. Ah! I don't know what happened there, folks. Ah! <laughs> uh, okay, but ow! You little shit. Uh, but but if it ain't if it ain't my uh, if it ain't my last description, the multi warheads, three missiles up ahead of you, then there you go. Just in case it ate it. <laughs> uh, I think that's I think that's Bandicam's way of telling me you're recording too much, asshole. Ah. <laughs> uh. Ow. Oh oh, you little shit fuck. Oh. But anyways, what the Crusher can do... See this block? Boom, boom. That's going to be handy throughout the rest of the game, too. Ah. And here we are. Area 3! Sweet! And no enemies are ambushing me, so I can actually just calm down and take it calm. Ah. Oh, so with that, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for watching it. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, hit that like button over there. And if it's set up the way, if it's set up in a certain way, you can share it with your friends too with the exact same button. Oh, the push of one button. That's pretty awesome. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button. Comments are always appreciated down below. And if you want to help more directly, go to patreon.com slash gomer21xx. You throw enough money at me, I'll advertise your stuff at the end of these videos. Uh, so take care, folks. And until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.